Hi everyone, welcome to you. In this video, we'll go through the graph of secant and cosecant function. In the last videos, we have seen graphs of sine, cosine, tangent, and cotangent. To draw the graph of secant and cosecant functions, we'll be leveraging whatever the known values about secant and cosecant. We know that cos of 0 is 1, so secant of 0 is equal to 1. So secant of 0 is equal to 1. Similarly, I know that cos of pi is minus 1. So I know that secant of pi is equal to minus 1. Also, we know that cos of 2 pi is equal to 1. So you can see that 2 pi is 1. Again, 3 pi is minus 1. And we can also we, we can also see that cos 60 is 1. So secant pi by 3 is equal to 2. That means this is 0, pi by 2, 90. If I divide this into 3 parts, 30, 60, at 60, I'll have 2. Similarly here, cos of negative is positive, cos of minus is cos only, so I'll have another one here. Similarly, if you look here, between pi by 2 and pi, cos pi by 2 plus pi by 6, cos pi by 2 plus pi by 3, that's nothing but cos 5 pi by 6, that's where you will have, it's 2, this is 3 pi by 6 and this is 6 pi by 6, 4 pi by 6, 5 pi by 6, this is where I'll have it as 2 and also here and also I'll have another one here. So if you take more values like secant pi by 4 equal to root 2, so you'll have values here, two values. Similarly root 2 will have two values. So you join them, we'll get the graph of a parabola. extending in the direction similarly another parabola extending like this so if you draw again we have seen here cos 0 equal to cos 2 pi so if you draw again here you will get one more repetition of this whole part that means this picture or this particular figure is repeating as you move through x. That means the period is between minus pi by 2 to plus 3 pi by 2. That is nothing but 2 pi. You will see from here again you will have something like this same thing repeating again, again, so the period is 2 pi and one interesting observation you can see is that in the range, in the range of secant and cosecant there are no values between minus 1 and 1. You can see here minus 1, there are no values anywhere in between. Again you are starting from 1, again minus 1 and going down but you don't have any values between that and uh, secant is not defined for odd multiples of pi by 2 that is the domain now let's go to the cosecant and see how this looks like in the cosecant first let's uh, start with what we know we know that cosine of 90 is 1 so cosecant of pi by 2 is equal to 1 
3 pi by 2 is minus 1. So, I know that cosecant of pi by 2 is equal to 1. And also I know cosecant of pi by 4 equal to root 2 and cosecant of pi by 6 is equal to 2. So, this is 90, 30, 60, pi by 30 somewhere it is here 2, 2. Similarly, I know that this is 1 and this is 2 and this is 2. So, this also you will get a parabola similarly you will have here also an parabola and the values extending towards infinity but it is not defined at 0 pi and 2 pi so you can see here there are some similarities between secant and cosecant and you also see that this particular picture repeats again because you know that cosecant pi by 2 and cosecant phi pi by 2 equal to again 1 so you will be having the same picture again repeating so that gives us that the period is equal to 2 pi that is between 0 to 2 pi. So, the period of sin cos cosecant secant is 2 pi, but whereas it is for tan it is pi because tan is positive in first quadrant and third quadrant. So, in the next video we will see how to calculate how with the help of the graph how the period of a sine function changes if from x it becomes 2x or x by 2. See you in the next video. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now.